Hi, my name is Karen Brooks and I'm the author of The Good Wife of Bath and my new book is The Escapades of Tribulation Johnson or A Woman Writes Back. So Afro Ben was just this amazing uh, character, if you like, of the Restoration and she was a playwright, she was also a satirist, she wrote lampoons, she wrote pamphlets, very political pamphlets. She's probably, and she was a poet, she was described by one biographer as the punk poetess, which I really like, but she was best known probably for her plays. And so she features very strongly in the book and she was really the first ever professional woman writer in English. And she really uh, stood up, if you like, to the male establishment, which tried to bring her down. Of course, in that period, women were very much treated as objects. They were infantilized and Afra was really, uh, became such a target. And yet she had such resilience. She refused to back down. She always said she had to write for bread, so she had to write for a living. And the story begins when my lead character, Tribulation Johnson, is sent away from her home in disgrace. And she's sent to London. She lived in a little village out um, in Kent. And she's sent to London. And lo and behold, the person she's sent to live with happens to be a long lost cousin, Afra Ben. And Tribulation's dream has always been to be a writer. So who better to find herself with than Afra Ben? But Afra has some dark skeletons in her closet because she's not only been a writer, she used to be a spy for the government. And when you've got this sort of situation bubbling away in England with their spies and assassins and plots, all eyes are turned on those who raise their head above the parapet. And that's something that Afra continues to do despite those vilifying her and trying to silence her. And Tribulation is willingly drawn into all this.